schematic uh, for the product detector balance modulator. And over here on the left side, we can see the uh, input for the LMO BFO. Here's our Trifiller 1 transformer that we covered previously. Here's our diode ring of the four uh, 1N914s, the sec second Trifiller 1 transformer. <clears throat> we also feature here is a low pass filter. As you'll recall, the double balance mixer produces the sum and difference frequencies. And here the difference frequency we're looking for is the audio frequency. So to make sure we're getting AF out, we have a little low pass filter here. It'll only pass the audio frequencies. Signal input is at this port right here. Uh, we had talked about in one of our prior uh, videos about adding the 100 ohm pot for balance. That's here. And we'll also add a 39 ohm resistor with the switch. That's currently not on the board, uh, but that'll be enable us to uh, unbalance <clears throat> the balance modulator to produce a signal for tune-up. Um, the construction was done on a piece of uh, two by three inch PC board, and we used the me pads uh, from uh, um, uh, me squares, excuse me, from W1REX, and uh, this is really slick. I just glued them down figured out what my circuit was, how many squares I needed, glued it to the board, soldered everything, all the outside is ground. Um, I drilled full holes in the corners previously because ultimately this is going to be screwed down to a breadboard and so everything is going to be connected uh, on the breadboard. But what's really good about this, having these holes made in advance, I have this on a chunk of plywood. So this steadies everything <clears throat> uh, while I have it here on the bench doing all the soldering work, nothing's moving around, so you get real nice clean solder joints. Again, this is the little 100 ohm pot. This is the, one of the trifiller wounds, the four diode ring, the second trifiller wound. This is the low pass filter, ten, two 10 nanofarads and one millihenry. Audio output is this port, signal input here, local oscillator over here. So we'll give this a try a little bit later. Anyway, this is N6QW. Again, this is the schematic uh, that we're using. And there's the finished product, nice and clean. So um, we're looking forward to putting this in the test receiver. And 6QW uh, now clear.